Hey guys, hope you're well. So this lesson is all about percentage composition. So it's really easy. Let's say, for example, we were looking at these Lego blocks and I asked you, uh, what percentage, what percentage of the blocks are blue? So what percentage are blue? So all that you would do is you would count the number of blocks. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 blocks. And then out of those 10 blocks, three of them are blue. And then you would just say multiplied by 100 because you want to get it at a percent. And that would give you 30%. If I asked you what percentage of the blocks are green, you would just say four out of 10 times 100. Uh, yellow, two out of 10. And red, one out of 10. So we can do the same thing when we're talking about molecular formulas. So for example, let's say we have uh, NaOH, okay? And my question is, um, determine the percentage composition, okay? So for sodium, which is Na, what you would do is, okay, so you'd first have to go calculate the total mass. So let's first go get the total mass, total mass. And that you just do on the periodic table. So that's gonna be sodium, which is 23, plus one oxygen, which is 16, plus one hydrogen, which is one. And that would give you 40. Just like having the 10 Lego blocks. So what you'll do is you'll put the 40 at the bottom. Okay, now when I asked you about the Lego blocks, uh, for the blue ones, you said three out of 10. So let's say I want you to find the, let's say I want you to find out the percentage of Na. So if we just wanna find the percentage of Na, then Na is going to be 23, 20, because the mass of Na is 23 out of a total of 40, and then you're gonna multiply that by 100, and let's see what we get. 57.5%, so 57.5% um, of this NaOH is gonna be Na. Now if we wanted to do oxygen, well that would be a total mass of 16 out of a total mass of 40. If you multiply that by 100, you get 40%. So 40% of the mass of NaOH is oxygen. And then for hydrogen, you could just say um, that its mass is one out of a total of 40. If you multiply that by 100, you get 2.5%, 2.5%. Now, if you had to go add up all of these percentages, you would always add up to 100 because all of this must add up to 100%. So let's go do some interesting examples now. So here we have H2SO4. Now you need to determine the molar mass of H2SO4. So the molar mass is gonna be um, on the periodic table. So that's gonna be two hydrogens. So that's gonna be equal to two hydrogens. There's one sulfur. Now each sulfur has a mass of 32. And then there's four oxygens. You see there's a four there. That four says that there are four oxygens and each oxygen is 16. If you had to go calculate this, you're gonna end up with 98 grams per mole. Remember that molar mass from previous lessons where we looked at this formula, Molar mass is measured in grams per mole. The next question, this one says, determine the percent composition of hydrogen. Okay, so to work out the percentage composition, um, we know that we just need the total at the bottom, and then you just need the specific element that we are talking about. So let's just say here, specific element, and then multiplied by 100. Just like we did with the Lego blocks, we took the blue, when we wanted to know the percent composition of the blue, we took the total at the bottom, and then we just took the blue. Blue Lego blocks over total Lego blocks, and then you multiply that by 100. So now we're also doing that. So now we're gonna look at the mass of, now we're gonna specifically look at hydrogen. So hydrogen has a total mass of two, because remember there's two hydrogens in this, um, molecule, so two divided by 98, multiplied by 100, and that would be 2.04, if we round out to two decimal places. Okay, so that's 2.04. The next one says, determine the percent composition of oxygen. Okay, so oxygen, there were four of them, so that had a, has a total mass of, so out of the total of 98, 
there were four oxygens, so four times 16, and that gives you, um, oh, and then we can also times that by 100. Now, if you had to work that out, that'll be 65.31 if you round to two decimal places, uh, 65.31. And then if you had to go now to do sulfur, there's only one sulfur, and so that's going to be um, sulfur's mass, mass, which is 32 over 98 multiplied by 100, and that'll give 32.65%. Let's do another example. So here we have magnesium nitrate. Now it says here, determine the molar mass of magnesium nitrate. Okay, so there is one magnesium, so there's one magnesium, so that's 24. Then there is two nitrogens, so two multiplied by nitrogen's mass, which is 14. Then there are a total of six oxygens, because there's three over here, but then you multiply by two, because there's, there's two of these things. So that means it's gonna be six oxygens, and each oxygen is 16. And if you had to calculate that, you get 148 grams per mole. So that is the total, okay? So when we go to our calculation now, um, it's always the specific element that we are talking about, divided by the total, multiplied by 100. So for the total, we know that that was um, 148. Now for question B, they want us to work out the percentage of magnesium. So that's gonna be 24. So we say 24, and then times by 100. And so if we round that to two decimal places, that'll be 16.22%. Then if, so let's just say 16.22%. Then if we do nitrogen, well, there are two nitrogens. Okay, remember we even said it over here. So that's gonna be um, two times 14 divided by the total, multiplied by 100. And if you round that to two decimals, that'll be 18.92%. And then, so that's 18.92%. And then the percentage composition of oxygen, you would say um, there are six oxygens, that's six times 16, six times 16, divided by the total, which is 148 again, oh, times by 100. And that gives us 64.86%. Here's our last example. So the first question says, determine the molar mass of C3H8. Okay, so that's three carbons, so three times by the mass of carbon, which is 12. Then there are eight hydrogens, where each hydrogen has a mass of one. And if you had to go work this out, you should end up with 44. And the units with, of that would be grams per mole. So that's going to be the total mass. Now the first question says determine, well, the, sorry, this first part says um, determine the percent composition of carbon. Okay, so carbon, there's three of them, so that's three times 12, divided by the total, which is 44, multiplied by 100, and that'll give you, to two decimal places, 81.82%. And then this last part says hydrogen. So that would be, um, there's eight hydrogens. So that's eight divided by 44, multiplied by 100, and that'll give 18, whoops, 18 point, oh, I'm not writing that very nicely, 18.18%.